Hi there. George R. R. Martin just made a post on his official blog confirming that a second prequel pilot to Game of Thrones is in the works, this one on the Targaryen Civil War known as the Dance of the Dragons. This is just an update or addendum to the other videos I already made on this over the weekend that news of this second pilot started leaking out at the end of last week. So I made three videos on different aspects of it over the weekend, and please check those out. They go into details. I'm not going to recover over here. And I had assumed Martin wouldn't confirm it officially for a couple of weeks. But then come Monday, he made a blog post talking about, had I known he'd say something Monday, I would have waited. But, you know, as he said in his post, look, so many major news sites are already talking about this. The cat's out of the bag. I might as well confirm it that this wasn't just Reddit leaks, it was Entertainment Weekly, Hollywood Reporter, and Deadline were all talking about it. So check out the other videos in the links below. But Martin didn't say that many new things, but he made some important clarifications and confirmed a few things. There is a second pilot coming close to pick up, though he stressed that being close to an official pilot order and actually getting that official pilot order are unfortunately two separate things. So it's not ordered yet, but we hear things are in motion, that it's advanced to the stage where the people in charge at HBO are actively discussing whether they should order a pilot episode, which is what we already heard last week. Um, he also confirmed the news from the leak that Ryan Condal is the showrunner, who, as the leak said, was taking over the specific pitch idea uh, well, prequel era, it's not the same pitch. He was doing the same prequel era that originally Brian Cogman was doing, but Cogman was too busy working on season eight to devote full attention to it, and he ultimately left work on Amazon Prime. So they're starting over from scratch on Dance of the Dragons with Ryan Condal's treatment of it. So he is the new guy that is confirmed. At any rate, a big point, and this is what Martin really seemed to be clarifying indirectly, is that a lot of news sites got confused by the phrasing that they're, quote, making the Dance of the Dragons based on material in Fire and Blood, not realizing that Fire and Blood is an anthology of different prequel eras. It's an in-universe history book. It, the title blurb says it's set 300 years before Game of Thrones, because that's when it starts, but the book alone, this book covers 150 years of history. There's different chapters, which for years, when they've been coming out as novellas, Martin said these are distinct prequel eras. So you can't do that in a single anthology format TV series, even one lasting like five to seven years. You couldn't do The Dance of the Dragons in one year. That That's silly. And people just aren't paying attention to the news that when Fire and Blood was coming out, his book, last November, in public interviews, he would say, and you know, I posted this to Wiki articles because it was important, he let slip two big prequel pitches out of the five that were made are based on material in Fire and Blood. Therefore, there couldn't have been just one pitch on all of Fire and Blood when there's two things from it, which we're pretty sure were the conquest and the dance. Well, in this blog post, I'm not going to read the whole thing off, you know, go to the link below for that, I'm just focusing on the important bits. Without outright stating this, because he doesn't want HBO to get mad at him, Martin heavily implied in the post that it's not an anthology, and he really all but confirmed that it's about the dance. And he did this with two points. First, he singled out the Entertainment Weekly report with a link to it, an article which clearly said it's about the Dance of the Dragons. Other news sites like Deadline, particularly Hollywood Reporter, got confused or even engaged in rampant speculation, but Entertainment Weekly focused on the dance, very clearly said this is Dance of the Dragons, and think about it, Martin chose to link to that one, Entertainment Weekly's, not the other ones. He didn't choose to even mention the Hollywood Reporter one, saying it's on all of Fire and Blood. So, he chose to say that as a man who carefully chooses his words. Second point, Martin also underscored just how ridiculous it would be to have a single TV series, even an anthology series, trying to cover all of Fire and Blood. 
His exact words were, For what it's worth, those who have read Fire and Blood will realize it contains enough materials for a dozen TV shows. Which is true. I mean, in other interviews he said, this book alone could sustain 20 books, like 20 TV seasons, depending on how you cut that up between different TV shows. Like the entire story of the Faith Militant Uprising, that one he singled out by saying Sons of the Dragon would be three books. Enos, Rise of Magor, Fall of Magor. So you can see how the story breaks down like that. So, given his comments here, we can definitely rule out an anthology. A few people were wondering, I'm not blaming the fan reporters, I'm saying the leakers phrased this very poorly. And on top of that, given his choice to single out the Entertainment Weekly report, and he said this pretty much sums up the leak well, and that one said it's about the dance, it's about the dance. It, we're moving forward saying that. Now, moving on, one weird point is that Martin also said, quote, This one has a title, but no one has revealed it, so I better not either. But it's not the obvious title. I don't know if he meant that the title isn't Fire and Blood, or if he means that the marketing boys at HBO thought The Dance of the Dragons was a weird title for a TV show and came up with a different one. Just as they felt the need to rename a show based on A Song of Ice and Fire as Game of Thrones because it's more marketable or something. Ack. So... I'm not sure what he meant, but then again, maybe he meant it's not called Fire and Blood. Whatever he thought was the obvious title. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, he went on to say that Ryan Condal already has both a script and a series Bible. Which is good. It means that they're not scrambling to pick up the slack after Brian Cogman left. And I don't think this is you know something new. They said they were about to get a pilot for it. They've been working on this for a couple of months. They just didn't tell us about it. That really, the news that Cogman left, I think he actually left last fall, and they just announced it in the spring. That they said one uh, pilot is down back then, but now they're back up with this. That we, we've seen other things of Ryan Condell hanging out with George R. R. Martin since last fall. So I think the switchover was November-ish, you know, closer to ten months ago than six months ago in, in the spring which is when we got the public announcement. So I don't get the feeling this was rushed. I get the feeling they just haven't told us about it for a while. I, I think there could have been as much time in the build-up to this as there was for Long Night. Think about, we don't know how long Jane Golden was working on her pitch before it was announced in June of 2018. So I don't get the feeling anything is rushed from this. He has a script. He has a series Bible. Things are looking good for Ian Connell there. Separate point, also in this blog post, Martin briefly talked about Jane Goldman's Long Night pilot. And while I still think, and I devoted a whole other video to this over the weekend, check it out, I still think HBO just saw the pilot and didn't like it. They said the rough cut pilot would be done early September, and suddenly we're hearing talk of them really moving forward on a different pilot. Key point is, Martin said in this blog post that he himself actually hasn't seen the Rough Cut pilot yet, though that wouldn't change much because it's not his decision to make. This is the new heads of HBO would see the Rough Cut pilot, then Martin wouldn't. He's a consultant on it. It's not his choice to make or whether they greenlight it, unfortunately. So I, I think they would show it to the, the HBO higher-ups before they show it to him. Um, his exact phrasing on it was, if this second pilot means Jane Goldman's show isn't moving forward, no one has told me. If this means there's a change to Long Night, no one has told him about it yet. But that could mean anything one way or the other. Just He's not at the top of the news chain there. Uh, he does politely say, I'm excited about the possibilities for Jane's series as well. Jane and I had dinner in London when he was recently in Britain last month for the Worldcon, and her enthusiasm was palpable. Well, yeah, but Benioff and Weiss really had enthusiasm with him in the early seasons, too. I don't know what that proves. I, I'd be more concerned with, well, Martin, what specifically has she told you about her creative decisions on this? If she just comes and goes, I'm really enthusiastic, that's one thing. If she goes, I'm doing this, this, and this, that that's more to go on. So, 
I've, re- I've been reporting on that for a few weeks. Th- there's other stuff I want to talk about there, but um, last point I want to get to about what this means for the other prequel ideas. Well, in this blog post, Martin reiterated, quote, Yes, I can confirm that HBO put several Game of Thrones successor shows in development at one point. There were four to start with, then five. That June 2018, they announced four. Then he said a fifth one was almost the ink was drying. And then by July, we had five. So there were four, then five, then three. I said all that before. End quote. This is, this is the news that's been going on for a year. And I've been reporting on that for weeks. Everyone has that Martin, when asked in public or talking about it on his blog, has said, we're down to three pitches, long night and two other things. And with this news, it turns out one of those two other things was the Dance of the Dragons. So we got long night, we got Dance of the Dragons. So is the third idea still moving forward? And what is the third idea? Well, to start with the easy one, read between the lines. Martin reiterated in this blog post that there were five pitches, then there were three. And then he didn't go on to update that or correct that. He he never corrected that. He could have taken this opportunity to update us that these are the only two pitches HBO is looking at right now, and they rejected the third idea. He didn't. He could have said nothing. Instead, he felt the need to remind us that there were five and then there were three. So I'm pretty confident that this is his backhanded way of saying without HBO getting mad at him that the third pitch is still active or at least hasn't been officially rejected. And if you think, oh, he'd never say when something is rejected, he would openly say on his blog, he'd go, hey, guys, the fifth idea, I'm not going to say what it is, got rejected. And then he'd say, hey, there were four ideas and now we're down to three, like, in early spring this year, he he would tell us when ideas got rejected. He said, "Well, we're down to three. We're down to two. No, he said we're down to five and four. He never corrected that there were three, and he chose to remind us this with no further comment. So this was no accident that he chose to bring this up. So just the way he said it, I'm pretty sure the third pitch hasn't been rejected, not yet anyway. As for what is the third pitch, that is the question. Well, I still think, or at least hope, it's the Doom of Valyria prequel by Max Borenstein called Empire of Ash. Admittedly, there were originally five pitches, two of which we now know were Long Night and Dance, so those are two out of five. Only one of the remaining three pitches is still active, and one of those three ideas was Valyria. We, this is what we know. So, th- is there a one in three chance that it's still the one? I think it's got a higher chance than a one in three chance, because the, the leak I got said only this and Long Night are close to production, and the other ones are just scripts. So, I really, I really think this was the third one simply given its level of development. Though, I'm not trying to sell you snake oil here. In all fairness, a full year has passed. A lot can happen since then, you know, like, such as Brian Cogman leaving the Dance of the Dragons pitch, but getting a new showrunner. And you think Dance of the Dragons probably one of the more rounded, there's more material to base a prequel on that than pretty much anything else, just in terms of page count. Now, This is more hearsay, but when I got the leak about the Valyria prequel, which was last July 2018, I was told that it was one of two frontrunner ideas along with Long Night. Then, that August 2018, I saw a moderator from a fan site, the kind who meet industry insiders at conventions, say that they unsubstantiated, heard from a person who heard from a person secondhand, but, you know, these are people who interact with the writers and stuff, had heard that there were three frontrunner ideas, Long Night, Valyria, and The Dance of the Dragons. So, putting two and two together, you know, how do we account for this discrepancy? I think the reason I heard conflicting rumors about whether Dance of the Dragons was the uh, third idea going forward or not 
uh, was due to all the production schedule problems, which ultimately made Brian Cogman leave the project. That's why they weren't talking about it as a frontrunner, because Cogman was really behind on it, by his own admission. And it's a very strong prequel era with a lot of material, something like 60,000 words in Fire and Blood, but he was too busy working on Season 8 to put his full energy into it, he said. Uh, that's why his attempt at pitching it failed, entirely due to his own schedule. And it would make sense they'd attempt to re-pitch that major prequel era under someone else. So, long story short, that explains why I can hear, I heard these conflicting reports about if the dance was a front-runner or not, because of all of the shake-ups with Brian Cogman. So... Even before this news, I'm not scrambling to react to this news, I had heard for some months that there were three frontrunner ideas since the beginning of 2019, and by this June of 2019, when Martin said, we're down to just three pitches, that kind of match, I went, yeah, I heard they were only considering three, which I assumed to be, and kind of heard people mentioning, were Long Night, The Dance of the Dragons, and Lyria. Would they make all three at the same time? <laughs> I doubt that. But AT&T has rather openly said they might actually make two, not three, but two shows at the same time to compete with all the other big new streaming channels putting out content, like Netflix and Amazon Prime. Like Amazon Prime's making Wheel of Time and Lord of the Rings prequel. Yeah, they need to compete with that. You know, Months ago, we thought, oh, it'd be crazy to run two prequel shows at once. Then AT&T rather openly said, you know, if you have two good ideas, we'll think about it. Because we want a lot of content now. We can't just have content on Sundays for HBO. It needs to be a major network like Netflix and Amazon Prime. And here's the key thing. Martin himself, in this new blog post, he closed out the post by seemingly teasing that. Though... It might just be wishful thinking on his part. But he's not just going, oh, I wish they'd do three. He points out the streaming wars. He goes, quote, And in these days of 100 networks, channels, and streaming services, I think television has plenty of room for two shows set in Westeros and beyond. Or hell, maybe even three or four. So, pardon my rambling. What I personally suspect is happening is that HBO's top choice is The Long Night. No surprise, that's the one they announced a year ago. And then, following that in descending rank, would be The Dance of the Dragons as the number two favorite, and Valyria as the number three favorite out of the five. Now, only three. Not even mentioning the other prequel errors from the books they didn't bother pitching. So, it's Long Night, Dance of the Dragons, Valyria, in that order. And AT&T might want HBO to make two at the same time. That is a real possibility they're talking about. So, basically, there are two open spots, but three pitches left competing for them. Now, Dance of the Dragons is a strong story, and would probably be a lock, assuming the showrunner is competent, which we've seen sometimes doesn't happen. But if you got a competent showrunner dealing with strong material... I'm pretty sure Dance of the Dragons is a lock if we truly are dealing with two different spots. But Long Night is an untested idea not really based on the books. While Empire of Ash is more of a loose outline. It draws a lot on the World of Ice and Fire source book, but it's, it isn't a narrative that is in the books already. It's, it's details from their cultures and stuff. So I think there are two slots for development... Dance of the Dragons is pretty much a lock for one of them, while basically Long Night and Valyria prequel are directly competing for the second slot. That's my mental image of what's happening now. Does this mean we should give up on the Valyria prequel? No, they haven't canceled it yet. They would have said if they canceled it. And now HBO and Martin will soon see the rough cut for the Long Night pilot if the HBO heads haven't already, which put all this in motion. And they will decide, when they see the rough cut, whether they should pass on it in favor of Valyria. It, moreover, I think in terms of what they want to make or what's close to production, I think we have a greater chance of seeing a Valyria prequel than, like, a Blackfire Rebellion prequel, which isn't even being talked about. Or, frankly, and discuss this in the comments, from a business perspective, I really don't think, if, if it's down to three choices... 
that they do Targaryen conquest because it's too similar to Dance of the Dragons in terms of its setting and story. Targaryens fighting with dragons in Westeros. Long Night's an entirely different thing with White Walkers. Dance of the Dragons is Targaryens in Westeros with dragons. Conquest is similar, but the story isn't as tight and there isn't as much material. And people go, oh, the Valyria prequel is too similar to Dance of the Dragons. Well, not really. It, it doesn't even take place in Westeros. It's in all these exciting new locations like Sothorios and uh, the other continents and Valyria. So there isn't as much overlap between a Valyria prequel and Dance of the Dragons prequel, where I think it was an either-or choice between the dance or the conquest, and they went with dance, which is pretty much what I would have done. So... That's why I think these are the final three candidates. Am I giving up on Valyria? No, I think it's the number three one. If and when Long Night Pilot fails, because no one wants White Walkers now. We didn't want it before Season 8. No one wants it now after Season 8. It's got all sorts of other problems, not based on anything in the books. I think that when Long Night gets rejected, it'll promote up the Valyria prequel to be one of those two slots along with the dance. So that's my running theory. Keep checking back for updates. Things are in flux now.